breakfast with a Big Mac. Just coming into Christmas week and uh, once again we're into a fun format here where basically I just cold call the big guy and get his really unfiltered honest answers on whatever the question is and today I want to focus on how Mac and uh, a lot of people that train with heart rate monitors and cardio machines become mathematics professors because you're always doing the numbers when you're under a bit of pressure and although we had technical difficulties with the heart rate monitor this morning um, what we managed to pull up with corrupt data was 900 calories in the hour and it would have been easily a thousand had we not had the problems but the problems we had so we deal with them um, an unconventional warm up today yes I did, uh, 180 kettlebell swings. Right. He's that kidding. 180. That's, that's brutal. Brutal. We did it in three stages though. Yeah. And I wouldn't throw anything at you, Mac, that I, I didn't think you could handle. And, and once again, you know, you're not even confounding yourself. You just said, okay, this is what I'm doing. And you said about doing it. Yeah. Because we have the technique down, it was safe. I'm not saying it wasn't easy. Each of those three sets of 60. When I hit the 30 count, I was like, oh man, <laughs> I'm only halfway there. Right. But uh, it was good. My, my hamstrings and my quads and my shoulders are burning from that. Yes. It's nice. You didn't think you were going to do that when you got out of bed this morning. And, um, no. you know, you talk about when you hit the 30 count to pull back into doing the maths when you're working out. It's really important when you're using the monitor and you're talking about going for a distance record on the rower of eight, over 8,200 meters in 40 minutes, which is around about your current level. You're not going to go for those numbers every session, and we had to talk about that, but, you know, I guess in the context of the rower, when you get through to the halfway point, 20 minutes through a 40-minute session, and you're starting to do the calculations, what your mind goes through and how you try and trick yourself and um, oh. to, to get to get what you're going after. That's funny that you talk about that because I do do that when I'm, I'm watching that little screen and it's telling me where I'm at and I'm, right away I'm calculating, okay, I've come, you know, 3,200 in 20 minutes and so now I need to make sure I, may, I have to go faster at such a percentage faster to make it, if I'm going to make it 8,000 or 8,200 8, or whatever and, and you start working out the numbers in your head, you know, and they should put a little calculator on here somewhere that you can just type it in, but you could do it, and uh, it's good motivation because you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this 20 minutes ago a little faster, 15 minutes ago a little faster, 10 minutes a little faster, the last five minutes you're going, the last minute you're just going as fast as you can, and uh, it's fun, and it makes it interesting, and it keeps it uh, lively, you know, it makes, makes you, makes you, look, you look forward to the next time I, I do that. I, I do think that. in the corporate world it they is. call that micromanagement in amongst the macro, you know? Yeah. And you're right, that's, that's how you should approach it and, and keep watching them and keep challenging yourself to actually push on and try and achieve what you're going after. I do a similar with the elliptical too when I'm going along and I'm like, okay, I'm going to try and make it eight miles in my hour or whatever. How much faster am I going to have to push you know, to get to that distance right. or whatever? You know? How beneficial then, Mac, in, in the context of this, would you think that you know people, I guess for our followers, that are looking at potentially designing their own workouts, how beneficial do you think would it be for those people to write down the workout that they want to do before oh. they do the workout? Now you're talking my story. I'd like to have, when I'm working on my own, a written, maybe sitting hanging up on the wall up there. My, yeah. Those are being modified and updated. Those are the old ones, but I've got new ones that haven't printed out yet. But yes, I like to have a checklist to go down. Now it's tricky when, when you're doing this raise your heart rate, lower your heart rate, you can't necessarily do them in the exact order. So my plan's kind of going to be like, I'm going to have a written list of like, okay, this is workout number one, workout number three, number four, whatever. I'll tell you, right, today we're doing workout number one. And then I'll be like, okay, these are the exercises, not, maybe not necessarily the order I'm going to do them, but these are what I want to achieve. And some of them are going to be high heart rates and some are going to be lower heart rate exercises. I'm going to try and monitor myself and, and go through them. I really haven't done a lot of that. Yeah, usually on these old ones, I just bring it right down the line and my heart rate is what the heart rate is. Yes. I usually rely on the rowing and the elliptical to burn the calories. I'm trying to rely on that for core strength and, and muscle strength. Right, right. But I wanted to start doing the heart rate like we've been doing with our workouts. matching it and looking at the effect of it. 
all that being said, I like because my personality and my mentality is the regimented workouts. I really enjoy the workouts with you because I don't know what's coming next. And now the variety and the new things that are coming in that, that, that you're doing with me make it really interesting as well. So on one hand, I say, write your workouts down. The other thing is that you have a written record of what you've done. You can always go back and compare. Exactly. Look at your calorie burn. Look at where your heart rate average was. What exercise did you do? I mean, that's all good data to have. Right. You know, so you can see how effective are you being with your time and your exercise. Yeah. But I like to write it too, so I guess I like it both ways. I mean, right. so they're both good. Yeah, it's a good tip, I think, writing them out before you do them and then you have those goals and then, you know, you can, as you're getting through them, you are doing the maths. You're saying, okay, I've got 30 push-ups to do here, I've got 30 sit-ups over here, and you're just ticking those boxes as you go along and um, it keeps you going, it keeps you motivated and aspiring for those things. And I've always I've always been a lover of because even back in the day when I was just lifting straight weights at the Valley Gym, I always had a written record. Right. I mean, for a couple of years straight, I could tell you what exercise I did, how many reps, how much weight, going back. You know, I had spiral notebooks and, right. you know, just before cell phones and, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. It's but good uh, stuff. Yeah. And, and, and I still, you know, that's just my personality. So hopefully you have that personality too and it'll help you your workouts. Yeah. And if you haven't, it's something to try and, and see if it works for you. So I guess my final sign off for 2013 is really to congratulate you. <laughs> And you know, say publicly how much motivation I get off the results that you've achieved. That's awesome. I'm inspired by it. You're you're uh, you've come a little bit back, but you have hit 90 pounds of weight loss in under a year. It's huge, and it's due to the work you're doing and the style in which you're doing it with these little tips. And I want to congratulate you on that and tell you how much I've enjoyed it and oh. wish you a Merry Christmas and everyone out there from us. The well, same as hey, Merry Christmas. Thanks for you. You're motivated for me and you taught me so much. Like I'm so much more I feel I'm so much more knowledgeable than I've ever been about exercise and working out. Yeah. Like we've talked about this before. If I was doing this 15 years ago, I mean, where would I be now? You know, I'd be, probably look like you. Oh, you know? gosh, I don't know. It's hard to say. <laughs> but thank you for all your help. I appreciate it. It's been great. Yeah. We keep doing this. No peeking at the presents. Uh, no. All right. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas.